Welcome back to part two, guys. Uh, where we left off, we were supposed to check out the box with the Raven on it. So let's go ahead and do that. You oh. can stash your weapons, ammo, and supplies in there. You can't carry everything while you're outside, but a well-stocked cache will give you options before you set off. So drop whatever you want in it. Okay. I don't want to drop anything. Well, I might put the landmine in there. How do I, um... There we go. Now that that's out of the way... <laughs> Maybe some more objectives. Objectives would be nice. Something. Do I check my pewter? Oh, get mission brief. Shite. And not before time. There's a horde approaching. Check your radar. What? Oh, shit. Whoa! That was just my cat. That actually wasn't the game. Go away, kitty! Whoa! One down. The rest of the world to go. No, I like that door! I don't want to reload. I still have three bullets left. Don't tell me what to do! I don't want to die. I'm already invested into this character. He's important to me! So- What the fuck is So... My guy is a musician. And I can tell you right now. If we survive this, this is going to be one hell of a song. We're talking David Bowie in levels. If he's lucky. Wouldn't it suck if you were in the apocalypse and you wrote a song about it and it just sucked? No one liked it? That would be bad. I don't know. I'll teach them. Not that they've much intelligence left, but they've got a hunter's instinct, like an animal. And that's how I think of them. Not your neighbor, your friend, your relatives. They're all dead, and those things wearing their faces are not human. Okay. Whoa! Okay, no. We have a little bit of uh, fortifying to do down here. This isn't very cool. Stop! You need ticket. Whoa! Did a little stinky leg before before he died. Is that it? Good work. There we if go. You got through earlier. You'll have to finish them off. What the? F okay, so where are the other few? Anyway, so uh, again, thanks for checking out part two. I have a little. Uh, I want to do something different, actually. While I'm waiting here, killing all these zombies, and this guy is not interrupting me. But uh, so you know those uh, embarrassing moments in life where you feel like if you just tell everybody about it then it stops being embarrassing and then you can all kind of laugh at it yeah well that kind of happened to me uh i'm a pretty outgoing person so i'm usually i think that's the lot all clear take a break you've earned it i'm usually not too afraid to do some some weird stuff with my friends but uh anyway Get some sleep now a little nap will do you the world of good. I'll get to the point. So, um, I was at, uh, I was at work, and for those that know me, or those getting to know me through these, these videos, um, I got off work late at night, and, uh, do what, what most of us... I've had an idea. I think it's time we got eyes on Buckingham Palace and took a look around. You might even be able to sneak inside if they're distracted, keeping the infected out. Okay. So I, uh, it's hard to tell a story with this guy interacting, or interacting, interrupting, excuse me. So anyway, get off work late, go around the corner to the local watering hole, and, uh, it's a, it's a long rectangular bar with, with the bar in the front when you walk through the door, and then there's some boots in the back, right? So, um, I, uh, I walk in, and down at the farthest booth, I see... I see my buddy. Right? You need to get inside Buckingham Palace. It's your best hope for better weapons and supplies, even if it is overrun by infected. So I walk in there. I see my buddy at the uh, at the booth with with three of his friends, and uh, so I, I walk over there, right? And um, I creep up behind him as I often do uh, when my friends don't notice me, and I start giving them this like almost borderline sexual just creepy massage right and i mean I'm, I'm going at it i'm going at it on this guy just getting in there real deep 
giving him a massage, and I look up and everybody at the table, you know, none of them know me, so the all, you know, his friends, none of them know me, so they all look just just terrified that I would I would do this to someone, and um, so my buddy turns around, and it turns out it, it wasn't him. I was just aggressively massaging some stranger for a good ten seconds in a bar, and he had no fucking idea who I was. And it was really uncomfortable. Uh, one of the most embarrassed I've, one of the most embarrassing times in my life. But he was really cool about it. Said it felt really good, and uh, I had a really good laugh about it later because that's just one of those things that might not necessarily happen to you, but that's the kind of shit that happens to me in my life. So there's that. Things could have been so different if people had listened to John D. But by the time he saw what was coming, Elizabeth was dead, and James I had no love for prophecies or alchemy. And he was so obsessed with black magic, he wrote a manual called Demonology, and sent his witch hunters around England to hang witches and warlocks. D had to go into hiding. Bloody idiots. Empty. Empty. Okay, so it doesn't look like, uh... The end. Doesn't look like there's very much going on here. Nada. Anyway, so yeah, I'm pretty outgoing. It was it was, it was embarrassing. Um, if you guys feel like sharing some of your embarrassing stories, then I promise you I will read them if you post them in the comments because anything to help me not feel so alone. <laughs> um, how do I get through this? Crossover. Can't cross over that. Aha! How did I miss that? I don't know. Reach Buckingham Palace gates. Um, you know, this seems a little, a little cliche to me. I mean, I know that the game is based in London, but do... Just because it's based in London, do we really have to go to Buckingham Palace. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's a big deal. I don't know. It just doesn't seem like the first place that I would go um, in the event of some kind of undead uprising. But it's a game, and I'm having fun with it, and hopefully you guys are too. Good thing about Book Palace, see, it's not just a building. It's a fortress. A highly secure location. You can bet your ass they've stockpiled guns and ammo like nobody's business. I guess that is a good point. I mean, not everybody is as armed in England as they are in the U.S. So that's that is a valid point. If there's weapons there, it might actually be worth checking out. So maybe I should just listen to Captain Price and quit bitching. Need lockpick. I don't really want to go through the water. I really don't. And barricade. Okay, so we do go this way. Let's let's play it smart. Boom! Poke you. Pool's closed. Boop. All right, let's keep going. I've had my fun. Okay, so it appears as though we have made it to where we want to go. So we'll close this. Hmm. Okay, so that is the door. Derp, that's the door that I came through. Alright. This game is pretty linear, and I need to just take a step back and just let it guide me because I, I keep wanting to do my own thing and it um it's generally wrong okay so we're back at the safe house and that definitely was not the right way to go <laughs> so uh we'll go the only way that we didn't go and that would be up up here and hopefully we can figure out what's what whoa hello birds this is pretty cool Whoa! Whoa! This reminds me of that scene in 20... Well, there's a... <laughs> the most generic statement ever. This does remind me of 28 Days Later a little more than... So let's ping our radar. 
and let's lurk. I'm trying not to encounter the infected, which seems silly, but we're gonna do what we can. Yes! Okay, so here they come. I need to not get backed into a corner. No, lady, I don't want a fucking business card right now. Finish it. Fuck, I've never been more concerned with... Oh, we have to remove the barricade. Okay, hopefully no one sneaks up behind us. That's just me grunting. Hello! I'm just trying to go home, man. Leave me alone. Okay, can we go in now? You guys are like fucking Girl Scouts from hell. Okay. Oh, let's scan this. First off. Boom. And we have... A number four Mark One carbine. Should I remove the barricade or just let them do their thing? I guess I might be full of blanks. I don't know how removing uh, barricades with them banging on the door <coughs> necessarily works out. Oh wait, wait, nope, we got a winner. Holy dicks! Okay. And it looks like I might be low on ammo for the pistol. Let's do this. Let's shut this. Let's take a look in our bob. And... Looks like maybe six rounds left? And I don't see anywhere to sleep in here. So we're not saving our game just yet. Look at these poor bastards. They flocked here thinking they'd be safe, that the royals will protect them. But the establishment looks after itself, no one else. God helps those who help themselves. Never forget that. Come on, we all have seen movie. Oh, you got right, you're on. Fuck. Alright, your, hel your helmet's gone. Now you're gonna play some cricket, son. Die, please. Fuck! Oh, that was a hit! Come on, that was a hit. That was fucking solid black mass, dude. You play action completed unbreakable. Okay, I'll have to look up what that means later. I wish that that were. Was... Look up on the roof. Someone's raised the flag upside down. That's a distress signal. No Maybe shit. they're still alive inside there. Alright, let's uh, handle this guy. No! Well, that was easy. Pick up. What's this? Fixed turret ammo. That's not comforting. I think we just killed the royal butcher. That guy had some weight on him. Wow! That was kind of cool. I like that. So let's see what this does to a helmet. Oh, that's lame. Come on. That would totally penetrate. Now I know, though, for the future. Stop crawling at me! Stop crawling at me! Die! There we go. Prepper here. I'm pretty sure there's an old raven shelter nearby. Yep. Might find what you need down there. Might find what I need. Well, it's got a fucking sleeping bag. That's good enough for me at this point. And some milk? Oh, look at that. Milk. Okay, so I feel way more comfortable now that we've saved. And I guess in this one, uh, you become less effective uh, the longer that you're awake. So you have to sleep. Otherwise, something happens. Stats drop. Bad things. You die of cancer. I don't know. But I, I, I thought that was ammo, but I might be mistaken. So now it's telling me to go back this way. Through presumably this gate. Locked, eh? That lot of good that did them. You'll have to pick the lock. Find a tool. I have a hammer. There's find <laughs> find a lock picking tool. The royal lock picking tool. Well this isn't as cool. I mean, yeah, we gotta find a lock pick, right? But it tells you exactly where it is. So, what's the fun in that? 
Holy Jesus. So I want, I want to loot that. Do I really need 50 caliber ammo right now? What is this? Grenade. Don't mess around with those. Pull the pin, count to three, throw the bloody thing away. Does this stack? No, it does not. So I want to put that. I want to put you. I want to. I want to drop that. Okay. Yeah. 90 rounds for the 50s. Look sharp, so Fuck! Infected incoming. God damn it! Ah. Ah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Fuck you! What a bloody mess. Sure, God save the queen. Oh, this is not. That sucks. That ride. fucking sucks. Are there more coming? Oh, fuck yeah. Take all, take all! I didn't actually loot that. <laughs> fuck! I shouldn't wait so long for them to get close, but... It's scary when you're faced with when you die, you die. That's all you get. So... That adds a whole nother fucking element. Good lord! This sucks. Alright, I'm fucking... I'm running. Fuck! Shit, dude. Shit, dude. Shit, dude. Shit, dude. Shit, dude. Crossover! Fuck my life! No! Oh, that didn't do anything. Oh, fuck. This is it. This is where it happens. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Fuck! This is really bad. This is really, really bad. Son of a bitch. Hello. Hello. I'm sure me. That's slow. That's so lame. That's so lame. Ryan Murphy is one of them now. God damn it. So hopefully their numbers. I'm really hoping that the ones that I killed count towards the ones that spawn. Because that was just a lot. It was a lot of zombies. Maybe that actually wasn't a lot, and I'm just not used to this game, which is totally possible. But for me, that seemed a lot. It seemed like a lot. And that motherfucker is the one that did me in. It's the fucking Hellness, man. Those things are OP. Stop! Just... Why? Why are they so hard to kill? What? I don't know how to do this. There's no tutorial for this. Manamana. Okay. I don't know. Radio signal won't reach you down there. You're on your own. That seems I'm that seems so counterintuitive because I'm used to where when it jiggles it's about to break meaning that you're doing the wrong thing but all right I guess hey I'm willing to take it can I I want to there we go I'm willing to take it if it'll work I mean you gotta learn somehow all right don't fuck this up Matilda you're my second work of uh whoa you're my second fucking project here. Don't. Are you gonna come back alive? I don't trust you. I trust no one. Include. Oh, you have a helmet too. Okay. You stay over there, buddy. You stay over there. Um. Yeah, this is the right way. I'm not a. 
fuck? How do I fight stuff? I was wondering about that. I was wondering how I was gonna fight stuff in the water if I had to have my bag over my head to keep it dry. I really want to close this. I mean, you can close every other door so far. I want that one. Yeah, of course you are. Whoa! He was a gymnast before he died. Some of them, you hit them, and then they just like go flying up in the air, they disappear, and they end up hurting you. So that's a little frustrating. But other than that, I'm having a blast with this game. I hope that it's as entertaining to watch as it is to uh, play. I mean, I know this. Lovely woman, the queen. For an ancient lizard posing as a human, anyway. Huh. But I tell you, she knows the score. It's the government didn't want anyone to know about Dee's prophecy, not her match. I hope they get her away to India or something. Their climber's better for reptiles, anyway. Okay, so I reached the entrance. S scavenge the royal bunker for supplies. There's your way in. Be careful. I won't have eyes on you down there. Ooh, pretty. You're on your own. I'm losing you. Must be shielded. Watch your back. Well, guys, we made it to the Royal Palace. Um. Hopefully, nothing terrible happens to us. There's a raven symbol on the wall here. So let's keep, uh, keep going down following these. Fucking blind spots, man. All right, guys. Well, I think uh, we made it to our second hideout. I think that uh, we'll probably call it here for part two and uh, join me back for part three. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you're having fun with it, and uh, I'll see you next time. Time for bed. <laughs>